Tim, what are we doing in here this morning? So we're checking the number one tank plates and pumps because we've been having continuous drip of fuel from somewhere. Um, so what we're what we're looking at here, these this is the number one starboard tank plate. Um, above here, this area here, is actually the number one fuel tank. Uh, the starboard tank obviously split down the middle of the aircraft. These are normally concealed by these two trays down here which are there to stop the fuel dripping all over the electrics and batteries and other bits and pieces that are in the nose wheel bay. As you can see the nose wheel bay is actually quite busy. <laughs> so basically these, what we're looking at is just going to have a look at the the joints, running the fans around the joints, see if we get any fuel off them, which doesn't look like there is. So these are the um, these pipes going out from here. So this is the outbound pipe from the um, fuel pump. Uh, this is a fuel pump plate. Um, the pump it sits on that plate above there, and the fuel is directed out of the fuel pump down the back into the um, gallery for the engine. So the other pipes that come in, the middle one here that you can see, this is, there are only four tanks on this aircraft that have this. This is a transfer pump, this pump here, and this is to allow fuel to be transferred from the fore and aft of the aircraft for CAG, sorting out the CAG problems. So that's the transfer pump, and it actually has its own pipe. Now surprisingly, this pipe, actually I've just found a drip, this pipe is um, actually goes in, back into the refuelling gallery. So it's, it, normally you, you, it, you're actually using the refuelling gallery to pump the fuel in transfer. But when you flip the switch up the front, it opens the front and rear transfer valves and whichever pump you put on pumps the fuel to the other tank. Okay. But it uses the refuelling gallery as its medium of getting there. So this here is the refuelling pipe, comes on the same gallery as the transfer, but this is where we refuel the tank and up here this piece of kit here is the refuelling valve that turns the, uh, uh, the availability of fuel on and off to this tank. So if we're doing an automatic refuel and we say that we want to refuel the aircraft to say 50% totally, what happens is this valve is opened in rotation by the electrics in the aircraft and fuel's pumped in here until the sensors work out that it's got to 50 percent. That's an automated process. That's an automated process. Right, so um, that's the refueling valve. You can see the re refueling valve is actually, there are actually two uh, solenoids in here that actually control the refueling valve and the two solenoids do exactly the same thing but there's two solenoids to allow for failover if there's a failing problem. Okay, so that's the number one tanks which are above there and basically we have had these out, we have passed, changed these tanks, we've put new tanks in these because they were leaking cons considerably um, but it's, at the moment we're just looking at that's a shadow. No, it's not. It's jet fuel. Just a little bit it's of jet fuel. Is there a tolerance of uh, an acceptable drip? The, 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 if if we're just seeing a smear of fuel um, randomly from it, we're happy with it. Yeah. If we're seeing a constant flow, then we're going to do something about it. Okay. Um, but it depends on the weight of fuel, the head of fuel that's above the tank, and they, because of the age, they're going to leak a little bit more. Okay. So we have to tighten things up. These are all torque tightened um, by hand to actually bring, uh, to actually clamp That's a lot of plate. nuts and bolts oh, yes. on a plate. And they're all exactly the same. They're yeah. exactly about, about exactly the same amount. Of As you can see, these again, these are, these are tightened up. So that's a separate plate that has a, this one does not have a gasket in it at the moment. It probably will do sometime in the future. Um, and if you move, turn around, look at the other side, you've got exactly the same again uh, for the number two port tank. Okay. Yeah. Okay.